How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 13 being the next update for Horizon 5, we know even more information about it and I'm going to discuss all that in today's video. More clues, more information and just more things that could be included in the next update. If this video is helpful guys, please do consider subscribing. I still have more Hot Wheels DLC codes to give away. Let's get right into it. So last week, Playground Games released a trailer all about the Horizon Anniversary update and they released a blog post which told us we are getting Midnight Battles game mode returning, a new radio station and a new Horizon story. We're not going to focus much on them today, we're going to focus on the extra stuff. So what is there? There was something that was shown in the Series 12 livestream that is not currently obtainable in the game and they released it as a teaser as to what's coming soon. Now whether this is going to come within Series or 13 or not, we don't know. I guess it's likely because usually they show us stuff when they're sort of near release and it is the Doritos outfit. I'm going to play a clip from the old live stream right now. Oh, we do have another <laughs> another outfit that we want to show you. Um, hopefully no one in chat dresses like this regularly. Um, do you want to walk us through what this is? We're just going to tease it for now, but we just want to put this energy out into the world. So, so it's an outfit. Um... <laughs> Tonal shift between the two, but they're both fantastic in their own right. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is this is this is us just like hands off the wheel. Let's go. Yeah. It's a pleasure to introduce to you Tankito Dorito. And I don't think we need to say anything more. <laughs> Watch this space. That's all you need to know. I will I'm gonna lightly suggest it's the perfect outfit for crunch time. Um, moving on, I've done some terrible jokes today. So there's obviously a Dorito outfit in the game, it's not obtainable, they couldn't really tell us much about it, but it seems pretty obvious that this is going to be some kind of Doritos collaboration or promotion between Forza and Doritos. When is this going to be announced? When is this going to happen? We don't know. We can presume that it's possibly within the next update, that would make the most sense, or at least maybe the update after that. I'm going to say it's probably going to be very similar to the donut collaboration they did a few months ago. You buy a bag of Doritos and you might get a code for the Doritos outfit. We'll have to wait and see, but that's certainly possibly coming to the next upcoming update, Series 13. I'll certainly post about it on this channel if we hear anything about it. Now, in my last video, we showed the coming soon tab on the festival playlist and that all of them say mystery items for Series 13. And I said that this may very well change because they do often change them. And what's happened? They've changed them. Since they released the blog post and the trailer, they have now updated the Series 13 icons to show this. Midnight Battles, we already know about. Horizon Origin Story, we already know about. Event Lab Prop Pack and new badges. So we already know about the first two. Let's focus on the second two, Event Lab Prop Pack. Now this is very self-explanatory. We're probably getting a pack or a bundle of a lot more placeable props within the Event Lab Creator in Series 13 which has actually got people kind of excited, but some people are actually quite annoyed at this because lately, Event Lab has been having some issues. We all know Don Jerwan's song. He's a, a great creator on YouTube with Forza. He's been having some big issues with Event Lab lately with it just completely destroying his creations with not loading and rubbish like that. And he's really, I would say, quite agitated that Forza are just not really fixed this yet, but they're releasing Event Lab prop packs without fixing this issue. So it's a good thing that an Event Lab prop pack is coming, but I think Event Lab still has some quite major issues that really need to be ironed out. Let me know in the comment section below if you're having any major issues with Event Lab. And then along with that, we have new badges. Now I would presume new badges are the badge sort of feature that was added just a couple of updates ago, where you basically have a rank based on your multiplayer experience. You know, you rank up on multiplayer, you do all the challenges and you get the little badges to plonk next to your name. I would say in Series 13, they're just adding more of them. So maybe more multiplayer challenges to do, more Horizon open challenges for you to earn some more exclusive badges. Maybe they're just adding more levels. We'll have to wait and see. Well, that's certainly cool. Now I want to focus a little bit on the Midnight Battles section. We know that Midnight Battles are returning to the game in Series 13. We've been told that. This is sort of a one-to-one -one street race with a character in Horizon and you get given their car when you win. Now it's safe to predict that we're well, probably going to be new cars that we're going to win through that. It's going to be a bit underwhelming if we're just going to win 
normal cars through that. Now, people over on GT Planet have made their predictions and guesses as to what cars they could be and some of them are quite interesting. Someone made a very good point that there very well could be an accolade category added to the game based on midnight battles. So there might be rewards of new cars within the accolades as well, rather than just through the midnight battles themselves. Are there going to be several bosses? One Muscle, one JDM and one Exotic. Therefore, you can base your predictions on what new cars are coming to the game off of a Muscle car, a JDM car and an Exotic car. But the very good point that a few people had is, is this an opportunity for Playroom Games to add the 2021 Mercedes AMG Project 1 Forza Edition to the game? We know that the Forza Edition has been in the game since released in the files, but nobody's ever been able to obtain it. I would say Midnight Battles is one way for them to add it. It could be the final reward for completing all Midnight Battles. It could be a Forza Horizon 5 boss Midnight Battle reward, which you're racing against the Forza Edition. And along with the AMG Project 1 Forza Edition coming and maybe being available, are they going to be adding the previous Forza games, car title cars, as Forza Editions as well? So the Dodge Viper, the Hurricane, the Senna, those will be cool cars to have as the Forza Editions as well. There are lots and lots of different sort of guesses and ideas of what it could be, but I think it's a prime opportunity to bring some really cool new cars to the game through Midnight Battles. Something we can do is go to the leaked car list and have a look on the list and have a look to what's left. It's known to be quite accurate so far. Can anybody see anything on this list that really stands out as a prime Midnight Battle reward car? What do you think? If we have a look at it, we can see that there are actually some cars on this list that are the predictions from some of the guys over on GT Planet. One of them is the Ford GTX1. All of the cars over on the left hand side that are in black have been leaked a long time ago and they've still not been added to the game. Maybe this is their time to finally be added to the game now that Midnight Battles game mode is ready. Maybe some of them have been waiting to be added within that game mode. We'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think? We'll have to wait and see. There's one last thing I want to show you guys that I haven't actually shown you all yet, and it is the Series 12 changelog, the update that came out just last week. Obviously, the changelog has now been released. We have all the bug fixes. Here they are on screen. If you want to know exactly everything that's been added within Series 12 in terms of fixes, that's them on screen. So yeah, guys, that's everything for Series 13. We will find out in just a few weeks' time what exactly is coming. But so far, we've made quite a few predictions. What do you guys think? Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.